So we're looking for the median salary of the employees in this company, uh, but we don't know how many employees there are and we don't know any of the salaries. Now, statement one tells us that if you were to arrange the employees in ascending order in terms of their salary, the 15th employee makes exactly the median. So we can infer from that that there are exactly 29 employees because if you arrange 29 of them in ascending order, the 15th one would be right in the middle. So statement one implies that n equals 29, but without knowing any of the salaries, this couldn't possibly be sufficient. And so we can go ahead and eliminate A and D because those are the answer choices that claim that statement one is sufficient on its own. Now, statement two on its own gives us the sum of all of the salaries, but uh, knowing the sum of a set of numbers doesn't allow us to infer the median of that set of numbers. Uh, so statement two is not sufficient on its own either, and we can go ahead and eliminate B. Now, even if we combine the statements, okay, so we know the number of employees, it's 29, and we know the sum of all the salaries, we could infer now the mean or the average salary by dividing the sum by the number of employees. But to find the median, we're still missing information, right? The median is the salary of the 15th employee when you arrange them in ascending order. And there's no way for us to tell what that salary is. So the correct answer is E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.